Hello, my name is Judith and I am a Library and Information Science graduate student and today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a simple PubMed search to determine MeSH terms and use the history option to develop a complex Boolean search. Let's get started. I'm entering in a search term of migraine and I'm not sure whether or not that's a MeSH term or not. So I'm inputting MeSH in brackets and clicking go. Clicking the history tab. Under that we see most recent queries in search number one. I'm left clicking on number one and I'm interested in seeing the details and I see that migraine is appropriately mapped to migraine disorders so that I know that that will work as a search result. Let's try another one. Acupuncture and I'm interested in the mesh term. Clicking go. Going back to the history tab left clicking on search there number two for acupuncture seeing details and I see that acupuncture or acupuncture therapy are mesh terms I'm also going to enter in biofeedback and again I'm not sure if that's a mesh term so I'm inputting mesh in brackets behind it clicking go Click the History tab. Under that corresponding search, I'm clicking Details, and I see that biofeedback is a MeSH term. If I'm interested in combining these, let me clear out that there without having to retype it I know I want migraine and let's say acupuncture and but not biofeedback at this time and we are going to click go and therefore we have a smaller focused search results I'm interested in saving the search and I'm logged into my NCBI I would click Save Search and there I'm able to see that yes I did have migraine and acupuncture mesh terms but not biofeedback and it gives you the option of emailing search results and I'm not interested at this time but that will be there the next time I'd log into my NCBI. If you have any questions, please visit my blog at becomingalibrarian.blogspot.com. Thank you.